But when are they coming in? They're coming in at the time of Isa If mm. they're coming in the time of Isa then where are they right now? Mm. They better be on this planet because they'll be breeding till, till Isa Islam comes in. And if we cannot see them right now, that will only mean that we have not discovered this planet. Yeah. So much so that we have not discovered most of this planet because these people are 999 yeah. to 1. Yeah. Okay. By the, by, at least. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so, these people either have come in mm. and a lot of scholars say that, yeah, yeah, they came in way, way before you can talk about them. Okay. Yes. This, but why, why are we talking about Isa al-Islam and Yajuj Majuj? Yeah. Why is Isa al-Islam going to, to kill them? And why did, Allah is uh, saying that we've opened up Yajuj and Majuj. Yeah. So there cannot be the Chinese or the Caucasians. So now moving on to ayah number 92 uh, from the story um, where Zulqarnain met a nation who did not have any protection from the sun. So he fixes that for uh, them. And then um, ayah number 92 says, uh, <clears throat> then he traveled a third course. He took another means. 93, until he reached a pass between two mountains, he found in front of them a people who could hardly understand his language. Yeah, the, the real question here is uh, the, the way, because this, uh, uh, this word Saddain hmm. comes in the next uh, ayah in a singular form, Sadda in 93. Yeah. So he didn't build a mountain. Yeah. Because they asked him to build a barrier. Okay. Let's just assume that we can take the current translators, mm -hmm. the wall, he mm -hmm. built a wall. Mm -hmm. So that word in plural would not mean walls. Yeah. Because right now he hasn't built anything right now. Yeah. So Hatta Ida Balaga Bainas Saddain means two different barriers. Mm. It's not mountain. Mm. Well, in their very words, if we yeah. check the conventional translation, yeah. it would mean that Hatta Ida Balaga Bainas Saddain means uh, Between the two until walls. he reached the two walls. Yeah. Okay, but he yeah. didn't. Yeah. Uh, he, he actually is going towards uh, or between two different doorways. Mm. Mm. which are uh, the, you know, closed mm. Mm. or open, doesn't matter. But the point mm. is at that time, I think it were, they were open, mm. but these are two passes, the two, 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 two gateways. And Vajada min duni himam would mean beyond that. Mm -hmm. When he went beyond that, mm -hmm. uh, he found beyond those uh, two passes. Duni mm. himam is a plural again mm -hmm. of uh, well, the two. Uh, but Duni him would mean more than two. So Vajada means he found uh, beyond them mm -hmm. uh, uh, people. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is something which is uh, very, very critical in this specific part of the Surah. It takes uh, real life into how we're going to actually put that word uh, Sababa mm -hmm. into its real meaning. Mm -hmm. Because if Sababa is a pathway towards mm -hmm. uh, different uh, dimensions or, or, or planets or, or places in the universe, this would mean a totally different thing. It's not a mountain. Yeah. And plus the next ayah itself says it's not a mountain because, you know, uh, yeah. That's how it ends. That's in ayah number 94. 93. The Sadda. The, uh, the is in 94. 94, sorry. Yeah, 94. Yeah. So in 93, it says uh, Saddain. Yeah. So uh, it, it's 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 all sitting on that <clears throat> that 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 pillar of uh, Sababa, mm. and uh, so Maatba mm Sababa -hmm. is the same word which uh, leads to the meaning of uh, Saddain mm. and uh, Sadda. Mm. So it, this is where uh, the well the bigger delta comes into you know how the conventional scholars are using this translation versus what 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 I think is. Is, is going to open a bigger canvas of how we should look at the whole universe mm. and the whole, um, you know, this schema of how mm. things are being run. And now we know through science that, you know, this is not just a, a myth. Uh, however, let's just come to science later. Let's just talk about history. We know that historically there have been civilizations who've been talking about this blatantly in not in any gray symbols. They were yeah. talking about literal journeys. Not only did they drew about it, but they actually had a lot of narrative specifics to people and names of people and the kind of uh, stories that they have been talking about. They have a lot more relevance to uh, our theological 
backdrop of Idris al -Islam and, and before Adam al -Islam and right after Adam al -Islam. And it takes me right into the, into the heart of the matter, which is Nuh al -Islam. Hmm. Quite frankly, Idris al -Islam, since Surah Maryam has Idris al -Islam, mm -hmm. I, that's why I keep referring to him. Mm -hmm. However, the real uh, relevance to all of that and the proof of all of this sits inside the story of Nuh al -Islam. And since Nuh al -Islam, has a very peculiar advantage over every other prophet mm -hmm. and that's his age. Yeah. We have to really try and explain all of uh, those mysteries, which are mysteries. Yeah. Uh, through, through, through Surah Kaf's, uh, th these doors of Surah Kaf. Mm -hmm. So let's just say if Sababa is the actual uh, mm -hmm. portal towards mm -hmm. things, mm -hmm. that will also put Hazrat Nuh Salam's perspective right in the, in the place. That would also mean that Nuh is was uh, way more than 950 years of age, mm -hmm. since the uh, age of Dawah of Nuh is uh, 950 in the Quran. Yeah. Now, why would there be not more generations, over generations, more than 60 generations of Nuh alayhi salam in this planet while he was doing Dawah? But we only find one generation. Hmm. And the big dispute about whether the desolation was all over the planet or not. Mm. The bigger question was uh, uh, how did he actually uh, gather up all the animals in the Bible? Yeah. Which of course the Quran refers to as well. Yeah. Quran did not use the word every, but the Quran used the word in an imperative tense as to gather the females and the males yeah. of, of the animals. Now, the Quran did not specify if they're not every. Animal. Yeah. So we'll have to take the Bible's account on this. Yeah. So there's a reason why I'm talking about Nuh and Idris al Islam because mm -hmm. this is the, the, the one of those uh, moments where the Quran is actually, you know, opening up uh, the Muslim eye mm -hmm. towards all of those things. Mm -hmm. So what my contention uh -huh. is, well, actually, let me just give you my perspective first. That if Nuh al Islam was 950 plus and the Adam al-Islam was uh, 1,000 years plus, then there has to be a, some sort of an event which we know in terms of physiology of the human being that all of a sudden, no human being is going to live more than, uh, about, you know, let's just yeah. say 100 years old. Yeah. And that too is, is, is such a big uh, uh, question mark. Is there a hadith also about it? About, yeah, people the having age. higher, more ages before Musa mm. salam, and all that. Mm. Which, of course, uh, you know, is explained here as well. Uh, because Isa is 2063 right now. Mm. You know, so, yeah. we, can, we can really know of how uh, Nuh al -Islam and Adam al -Islam was were, were taking their ages. Mm. And uh, this also, you know, um, explains all of that, that puzzle. That because I always used to wonder as to why Nuh uh, had a 950 year of dawa. Yet just one. Yet just one child uh, who was mm. a, a first generation only. Yeah. He should have been talking to the greatest of his greatest grandsons at that time. Yeah. And that should have been a population of millions of people. Yeah. You know, I'm not because he's not the only one who's who's, who's having kids. I'm talking about you know the whole tree yeah. of the whole whole tribe on all the people of Nuh. So it's a it's a bigger problem that I don't know why the thought does not really ponder over the, those certain uh, areas of the Quran because they're really open. Mm -hmm. It's uh, I mean it's a matter of common sense as to you know why 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 wouldn't we think about this? Mm -hmm. And uh, the explanation comes from here because as soon as we put the concept of time in portals, all of a sudden you can understand as to uh, yeah, the possibility how, of everything. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Explains it way more simply yeah. than anything else that you want to do it yeah. and I do here uh, through, through through other spectrums. So uh, uh, the fact that if we combine the Bible and the Quran together mm -hmm. in the specific context of context of Nuh al Islam, mm -hmm. uh, there's a reason why Nuh al Islam becomes that that much more important because the uh, Bible itself says that the time of the Jal is going to be the time of uh, Nuh. Mm -hmm. Exact same sort of things are going to happen. Wow. So this is this is a, a very big, uh, uh, you know, key that we might have be using later on. So <clears throat> if anim every animal in the Bible is correct, which it seems so, there's way more probability mm -hmm. of that being correct mm -hmm. than only the local animals or some animals, because there's no way to prove that. 
There's a lot more ways of proving that every animal was collected. But then the question is, how can one man collect every animal? From the whole planet Earth. Yeah, yeah. No, maybe not just from the planet. Why are we just keeping it from the planet? You know? Yeah. Yeah, but it could be, let's just say, it's just from the planet. But if we have this sort of technology, mm. then that's not even a problem. That is yeah. so not a problem. Because mm. then you have no limitation of time. Mm. And still, whatever, since there is some sort of, because uh, uh, Surah Maharaj says that, you know, mm. there is some sort of time lapse from even if that journey is taken at that speed, still some time will be passed. Yeah. So I'm just saying that 950 years would pass to do the mission of Nuh in our, every portal that he was doing, through yeah. every portal, the use of every portal. And 950 years were passed here hmm. uh, in the portals. Hmm. In his in age, on this planet, he was a regular age guy. Hmm. That's why he just had one son or one generation. There is another hadith about that, about the Mi'raj of Rasulullah But it's, uh, I it's don't not, think it's authentic. Not, yeah, it's not. Otherwise, yeah, that would have been my first go-to well. uh, yeah. go hadith. Of but our, let's just mention it. Because, yes, please. Because why is it still found in the Zaifa hadith is that uh, when Rasulullah was about to, uh, to uh, pass, um, he asked the Jibreel that uh, I was promised the age of 73 or 93 maybe, uh, but I'm only 63 right now. And uh, the angel replies that because you spent 20 or 25 years of your life on Mi'raj. Yeah, so, and I personally want to use that at these. Yeah. And cause it, it, it <clears throat> fits right in the puzzle. Yeah. Of Nuh al Islam and Adam al Islam and Musa al Islam and so on and so forth and Idris al Islam. Yeah. And uh, here you must mention the story of Harut Marut as well. Mm -hmm. Because Harut Marut, uh, Ali bin Abi Talib says that Harut and Marut were in the time of Idris al Islam. Hmm. Now, this is. Uh, wow. Yeah. And I'll tell you why I'm mentioning Harut Marut. Because uh, this is the same uh, sort of doors that you know, Harut Marut are known for. Yeah, so, well, one point here, like Harut Marut is in a very interesting story because they are the only two angels who lived on earth as human beings. Yeah. Uh, like people at least recognize them as human beings. And then if they are in the time of Idris, salam, then Idris is the first prophet, maybe not the first, but the known pro uh, prophet who uh, died on the fourth heaven, to, was taken alive to the fourth heaven and has been a time traveler. Yeah, okay. for sure. Uh, well, well, whether he traveled time or not, but he did ask for time. That's the first thing that he says. Yeah, yeah. That I want more time. And uh, because he wanted to write more. Because yeah. he was writing up every piece of knowledge that yeah. the angels were giving. And this is Hadith we're talking about. And uh, Harut Marut in the Hadith uh, is uh, a certain story that we know uh, that talks about the doors. Mm -hmm. the, the woman that they actually... Uh, you know, they both wanted to marry the woman or, or whatever was going on between them and the woman. Mm. That's irrelevant. But what the woman specifically asked for mm. was the keys to the doors that they actually used to travel yeah, up so and down. Can you please explain this shortly, the, the whole thing? Sure, yeah. Uh, well, the collection of hadith about uh, Harut and Marut are not well respected in terms of their health. Mm -hmm. However, they still are here and uh, I want to use them because those are 1400 years old uh, commentaries, even yeah. if they're not hadith. Yeah. So, uh, why are they, all of that Zaif uh, text talking about all the intergalactic portals? Yeah. yeah. So, the psychology was there. Yeah. The proof of concept is there. Yeah. I'm not, I don't want to use the word psychology. The proof of concept, concept of portals yeah. was within the Sahaba. Yeah. So uh, the story of Harut Marut goes through different hadiths is that uh, there was a king who uh, had a son who was uh, really ill. Mm -hmm. And that was the test that was given to Harut Marut at the same time when the king was reigning here. Uh, ruling here, sorry. Uh, the, the option of uh, going to this planet and living the life and going through the test of human beings was given to three different parties. Mm -hmm. Two of the parties uh, rejected that offer. That I mean, not be we won't be able to, to live up to the, this, this, this sort of test. And Harut Marut, by their own choice, they opted for it. Mm -hmm. So that when they, they came in, this was the setting of the planet at that time. The king had a son who was really ill and there was a disease nobody could figure out. And uh, he was offering a lot more, um, a lot of a, you know, a reward for it. Um, these two came in as regular folks of pious nature and they, they, in short, they, they, they fix up the child. 
Mm. And then, then you know, uh, the king really honored them, and you know, they were the two most revered people on the planet at that mm. time, at least in that nation. So they actually found out this this girl who was really um, beautiful, mm -hmm. and that was one of those tests that you know this this was going on in the planet because yeah. we're all going through those tests. A beautiful yeah. girl is one of the the mightiest of tests. Yeah. So these people, both of these angels, they uh, really wanted to um, uh, connect with that woman. Mm. And here we've skipped the whole part of they were teaching magic and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to that because yeah. that is a detail. The Quran itself yeah. says that. I'm talking about the, the hadith only. Here. Yeah, what happened? Uh, yeah, the, the Quran actually talks about, you know, how people used to approach Harut Marut. Quran never said that they were teaching magic to them. Yeah. Quran says they were warning them about the magic. Yeah. So, uh, uh, the, the woman that they really wanted to be with, uh, she was seducing them mm -hmm. and... Uh, she specifically asked for uh, a, a, a trade that, yes, you can have me if I can have whatever you have. And they said, what do you want? What, what do we have? And she said, I want the keys to the doors that you use to go wow. out and come back in every time. Wow. And they specifically said that uh, we can give you anything wow. but, but the keys to the doors because that's the only condition that we have wow. to come here. And that's the only promise we made and we're not going to wow. give those keys. This is really surprising if it's a Zaif hadith, but still, why does it mention a portal? Yeah, yeah, key literally. To door. Keys to yeah. the doors of the Where heavens. did this concept come in yeah, yeah. at that time, whoever made this hadith? Yeah. Wow. So, doors of okay. the heavens. So, so, she did end up uh, seducing them. Mm -hmm. And uh, they did fall for it. And they did give her the key, mm -hmm. which could be anything. Could, mm -hmm. be, could be a kalama or could be anything that, you know, that can actually make you... Yeah. Uh, go towards this word. Why are we talking about here? Yeah, this is the 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 word which is uh, um, uh, sababa. This yeah. is the word we're talking about here. Yeah, and uh, Allah Subhanahu wa <coughs> Taala in this, this surah is saying that we gave that to to Zulkarnain. Yeah, and we uh, also uh, to Khidr Al Islam. Khidr, yeah. So there's there's a, there's a lot more going on, and then we you know then we're told. Yeah. And uh, it just if you look at it a little more, and I don't even have all the collection because it's you know there's so much there's so it is scattered so much that you yeah. you it, it, even in this day and age where everything yeah. is online and everything you still have a hard time because the this sort of knowledge since there was no psychology around this yeah. it was not structured hmm. uh, that you know all of those knowledge of all of those ahadis would be you know compiled in in, in at one. Um, uh, in one book or one collection, which is relevant to these sort of concepts. So, uh, but whatever we still have readily available, it shows us so much that, you know, it explains uh, a lot more questions and answers to the core of, uh, of the confusion that uh, a thinking Muslim would have. So, this is something which is uh, why we need to know Harut Marut, the timing of Harut Marut through Ali bin Abi Talib. And one more thing before I actually uh, go further, Ali bin Abi Talib and uh, Abdullah bin Abbas, the two mm -hmm. known geniuses of the history of the world. These are the two of the biggest scholars that you can possibly fathom. Your mind can uh, not even adhere to the kind of level that they had achieved. Mm -hmm. Of course, Ali bin Abi Talib being way more superior. And then Abdullah bin Abbas later on coming in and, you know, uh, lighten up the whole uh, beacon of uh, what Quran can do. One time Abdullah bin Abbas just stood, stood up and I'll tell you why I'm mentioning it in a minute. Uh, in the, 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 the majlis of the Sahaba and uh, he said, I can answer any question that you have. Any question, and there's yeah. a specific word he used. Any question from the universe. From the Quran, I'm going to answer any question that you have from the universe. One Sahabi stood up and said, that's a mighty claim, buddy, because there are a lot of things that Quran would not, be, would not cover. It's not even in, in the subject. And he said, why don't you test me? Because I'm, I'm going to try and use the Quran, not, not, my, my, not my knowledge. I'm going to use this book. And uh, the hadith about Abdullah bin Abbas is the fact that um, may Allah give you the knowledge of the, the book. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, this is the, 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 the prayer of the Prophet about yeah. him. Yeah. So, uh, and he did answer the question. Because the, the companion said, why don't you prove to me uh, where the Quran says about when the Prophet was going to part us. Yeah. And he said, okay, let me just tell you the Quran is he said, it's such an easy question, you should have given me a tougher one. Yeah. The parting is the ayah, or the surah, the taghabun. Yeah. He said, that was the Quran was telling us the biggest of the biggest uh, parting that you can possibly have as an ummah was the parting of the Prophet 
and that was the 64th uh, surah of the Quran. We, the Quran knew, the Quran told us that after the 63rd year, you will have the biggest separation uh, that you can possibly imagine from, from wherever you, from of all the things that you can possibly have. And uh, the Prophet says that whoever dies, and you're mourning whoever is died. You should also, you know, you should also reciprocate. You should reciprocate my death over and see that, you know, your loss is way less than any loss that you can possibly suffer. Now, this is how big of a loss that, of course, we all know that through our own um, uh, love of the yeah. Prophet. The point is, this man, Abdullah bin Abbas, was given the prayer by the Prophet of the knowledge of the book. Make sure you remember it's a keyword here. Ali bin Abi Talib, another person. Through the Prophet system, we know that this is the the, the peak of knowledge. Yeah. You know? uh, that I am the, the, the city of knowledge and Ali is the door. Yeah. And so these are the two people we know. <clears throat> and ironically, these are the very two people that talk intergalactic all the time. And they keep using the Quran and Hadith to talk about portals and intergalactic things. About Zulkarnain in Ibn Kathir. Ali bin Abi Talib is the person who says this, this is the man who used to, who, who got the power by Allah to uh, travel in the clouds. Travel through the clouds, yeah. yeah. Wow. Now, if he was traveling through the clouds, then everything else falls right in my perspective here. Yeah. Because the clouds is not those just clouds. Mm. Clouds is that 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 you know yeah. that that portal, the ways that we, that that, yeah. that is going to open. That is going to seem yeah. like a cloud. And. Uh, Ali bin Abi Talib is the person who says Harut Marut is in the time of uh, Idris al Islam. His son Hassan bin Ali bin Abi Talib is talking about Yajuj and Majuj having such a shape and structure that one of their their ears are you know are hanging so they're so big that they're hanging down to the to the floor and, and they're so big that they use one of their ears as mattress and the other as as a blanket when they wow. sleep. There's this exactly the same narration uh, by Ali in Tafsir ibn Kasir regarding the people uh, Zulkarnain meets. Uh, the people who complain that uh, there's no shelter from the sun. He says that these are the people who would go into the water at the daytime and would come out at the well, nighttime. Well, maybe I'm confusing that. And they are the, so big, uh, they sleep on one ear and they use the other ear as a blanket. Okay. Yeah. Well, well, I could be I could be wrong in uh, mixing up these two, mm -hmm. but uh, but I'm pretty sure it was Hassan bin Ali's uh, mm -hmm. uh, hadith mm -hmm. that I'm quoting right now. Mm -hmm. So it could be. But it's not about Yajuj Majuj. That's so that's maybe sure you know maybe that is the place where you know those are the same kind of creatures that live there. Yeah. Maybe those aliens are are yeah. similar in structure. Yeah. We have small ears. Those planetary yeah. things have bigger yeah. ears. So. Uh, Another uh, of that uh, proof of that is Dabatul uh, Ard, the ayah, in the mm. last of the, uh, right after Yadud Majud, by the way. Yeah. The sign of Allah is going to come upon us, which is going to be an animal yeah. who is going to start to speak. Yeah. And this is the Quran we're talking about. This is not any, any sort of weak hadith yeah. or uh, yeah. any, any sort of historical event. Yeah. This is the future, which is spoken by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala himself, that one of the signs that is going to be a creature that is going to roam around the planet. Yeah. And we say Dabatul Ard, all of a sudden we start to pull that out of this planet. Yeah. That is going to be a subterranean creature. Yeah. Or some amphibian or whatever. But if we look at this perspective, then Dabatul Ard is an intergalactic portal opening and some bird coming in or some animal coming in or some some creature coming in, which is going to be speaking in the language of the Jews. Well, I'm saying it's Jews because yeah. uh, at the time, uh, the, the, the ayah is talking about Jews uh, yeah. in the Quran. Uh, Bani Israel is being addressed at that mm. time. Mm. Uh, however, it could be anybody uh, because this ayah is separate. Uh, yeah. So what I'm saying is... We have to, I'm sorry to cut you off here. We have to keep in mind that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that he created seven heavens, seven earths. And then he, say, he says he created many creations between those. Yes, yes, yeah. Surah Bani, Bani Israel. Again, yeah. Sunni, Bani, uh, the same Surah. Yeah. Yeah. That is the Surah in the Bangs, these three Surah. Yeah. Uh, ayah in 70. That same Ayah. Simon uh, 70. Uh, yeah. Allah SWT says that, and Allah has the power to gather them whenever He wants. As a sign. Yeah. 
Yeah, as a sign. As yeah. a sign, yeah. Yeah. So the yeah. point here is that uh, if it's a sign, it has to be before the day of judgment. Yeah. On Otherwise, it's not a sign. sign. Yeah. Otherwise, it's not a sign. That's uh, actually. So it's I think it's not the talk. gathering of the Yawm al Qiyamah, but it's a gathering where Allah says that He He has the power whenever He wills. So this way, if Yajuj Majuj are some other creatures from some other planets and Dabbatul Ard or those uh, birds who are going to come and take the dead bodies of the Yajuj Majuj, all of them will be interacting with us. Oh, for sure. Because yeah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said that. Secondly, uh, <clears throat> the fact that, you know, when we... Okay, let me give you another example here because this is what we're talking about the doorways right now. We're talking about Sadain here. That's why all of this is, is, is very relevant. When the time of Abraha, all of a sudden, birds yeah. come in. Yeah. And it is written, the commentary, that the people of uh, Makkah That's said... the that, commentary of Surah Al-Fil. Yeah. Okay. And the Abraha is the, yeah. the people of the elephant. Yeah. Uh, they say that we had not seen these birds before, yeah. nor did we see these birds again. These were not regular birds that came in. Yeah. And Yajuj and Majuj will be picked up by some birds. Mm. And that is something which we better understand that there is no local planetary bird here that can pick up people yeah. by the millions yeah. and then, you know, throw them in the sea. Yeah. So it's not a normal scientifically explainable event. So let's just take the lens off of science yeah. and think of the multidimensional which, which uh, uh, universe that we're living in right now, which are applicable to us every single second we just can't see them yeah and since we cannot see them we think that they don't exist my theory is very simple it's not a theory my iman is very simple that a multi i'm not i'm, I'm not even limiting it to 11 dimensions thousands and thousands of dimensions are shrunk into this universe yeah and since we can only see three dimensions Everything else becomes ghaib and that is what the Muslim is told to believe into. Not just the wahi, not just the angels, not just Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala himself, yeah. but the very fact that you are so limited of a creature yeah. that everything, well at least most of everything, or most yeah, of most whatever of, yeah. the universe is, yeah. is ghaib to you. Yeah. And if you really want to believe, yeah. then you have to believe uh, if you want to gain guidance from the Quran, then you have to believe all of the ghaib. Yeah. bil ghaib. That I don't know why we just attribute Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala only as, as ghaib. Yeah. That is well, I'm I also believe that some of those things are are going to open up because in the story of uh, the prophets, uh, when uh Salah alayhi salam, people started to ask for a sign of Allah. Yeah. And Allah says, ask them what you want me to put in that animal and make yeah. sure no one is left out. And yeah. somebody said, size, somebody said this, neck and that kind of ear of the camel and so on and so forth. Yeah. And what happened then? Yeah. What happened right after? The stone actually opened up to give way to the camel to yeah. come into this planet. Yeah. You have to understand yeah. this, this is... We as Muslims believe that it's a magic trick that Allah is pushing, pull, yeah. pulling, which we, we, he can. Yeah. Yeah. It's not a magic, uh, the word magic has a yeah. negative yeah. psychology, mm -hmm. but it's a magical event that yeah. Allah is. For us, yeah. 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 Miracle. Well, no, no, I don't want to use Even the word the miracle. miracle. Is the the right miracle word, itself right. is the, 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 I'm talking about, I'm addressing the psychology here. Yeah. Miracle to a Muslim is a, uh, uh, a kun of Allah yeah. against all of those laws. Yeah. As soon as we think on that line, those lines, we are actually committing a sin, in my opinion, a big sin that Allah didn't know what these people are going to ask for. This, in my own psychology, is going against the ilm of Allah. Hmm. That someone came up with an idea that Allah didn't know about and Allah said, okay, I'll answer you right now. Hmm. So if people of Saleh ask for that camel, that camel was created millions of years ago yeah. on a totally different planet. Yeah. These guys just came up with whatever imagination they could come up with. And yeah. Allah said, you know what, this is not, this is one of the many meadows that I have. Here you go. Yeah. This is what you're asking for. Yeah. Because if we think for a moment as a Muslim 
that someone came up with a question and the prophet, any prophet, demanded Allah's miracle on it and Allah produced it at that time. Yeah. That, to, to me, as, 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 a, as a Muslim psychology, uh, a, a, a person with a Muslim psychology, counters the belief of Allah is alim. Yeah. Yeah. Because the qadr and the free will is on this planet. Yeah. Allah is not on these planets. <clears throat> yeah. Allah is everywhere and Allah was way before this planet and He knows everything about whatever is going to happen later on. Yeah. So the people, when they ask for miracles, those miracles come to, to life here even though they are already registered somewhere else yeah. in the past. Yeah. I'll give you an example here. Yeah. When Shakul Kamar happened, yeah. now there are a lot of hadiths which actually say that the Prophet ﷺ did split the moon. Yeah. The Quran doesn't say that. It's yeah. okay. I actually believe mm. that the Prophet ﷺ split, split the moon. Mm. But it was supposed to be split in the timeline. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And at that time, those people actually asked and the Prophet ﷺ split the moon, even yeah. though it was supposed to split in, as one of those signs of the Qayyamah. Yeah. And yeah. that's the psychology of a Muslim that these sort of things, when they happen, they happen from an already placed arsenal of the the of the yeah. of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yeah. yeah. And this is why I am going to quote another hadith because of, we we're talking about this. That the Musa Islam asked uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala about the creations, yeah. uh, other creations. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says to Musa, that should I tell you about one of the meadows that there is a creature that is yeah. feeding in one of my meadows that if you look at your own planet, it is. It can swallow that planet in a single bite, wow. without even any hassle. This wow. would be not even a meal for that planet, uh, wow. the, for that creature. And he is in one of the meadows of mm. one of the many meadows that I have. Yeah, you know. Yeah. So it's a. Uh, it's not a coincidence that this ayah in Surah Bani Israel. I have 70. It's not a coincidence this, this actually happens to be part of this constellation. You know what the ayah is? That we've created many creations. You are the better of many creations. Yeah. Yeah. The better of many, not the best of all. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Although that's the most common belief that Muslims human beings have. are the Ashraf al makhluqat yeah, well, That does not, that is yeah. not in Islamic uh, literature. Yeah, uh, it's it's it's, it's uh, Islamic culture, but yeah. not uh, you know not in the Quran or this. Yeah. Actually, some of us really have like uh, derived this from Ahsani Taqween, so from that they derive that we are the best of the creation. But from this ayah, it clearly sh uh, shows that we are better than many, many, but not all. But not all, and that's the point here. Because yeah. Ahsani Taqween would mean when Allah creates anything, yeah, Allah exactly. creates yeah. it as as the finest possible way, yeah. So, in, in my own opinion, uh, even the ants are created as Ahsan and Taqweem. Yeah. When, yeah. when Allah yeah. creates yeah. something, yeah. Uh, it is created as yeah. Ahsan and Taqweem. Yeah, we, we so, can't create anything like that. With that yeah, perfect, but perfect. again, I'm not going to you know, contest against this very, very mm -hmm. uh, commentary of yeah. the, the ulama. What I'm trying to say is very simple things here. When, uh, when we are going to open the portals of Zulkarnay, and it's not the first time these portals are going to be opened. <coughs> Because these have been an accounts in hadith, and, you know, uh, in the Quran, so many times we just don't look at it. Yeah. Since uh, in uh, Surah uh, Namal, mm. uh, when Ifrit is told to to bring, well, uh, Sulaiman asked who's going to bring the the yeah. throne of uh, Saba. That's an actual portal this guy is opening. Yeah. Because this this man, if he was trying to use any any you know pathway. Mm. It would have uh, spent. He would have spent some time before he can bring the throne in. Mm. But the fact that he says before you can blink the eye, mm. that means he's going to come and travel through time, and right at that very point in time, he's going to bring it. Yeah, you know this. 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 This is such an amazing fact because it's in the Quran. Yeah, that this man did not spend any time to bring it. Yeah. Yeah. So it's it's not like a hologram he presented in front of. Him. Yeah. Uh, he uh, actually brought the real thing. Very important point here is that uh, when he was asked, 
he said that it's the knowledge of book Allah has given. Yes, me. yes, that's what I'm coming at. Yeah. That's that the he same. He was not a jinn. Oh yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> I, did we not cover this event? In, in? I, th I don't remember. Maybe we did. Yeah. Yeah, it's a long series we're doing. So yeah. the the f the story is about Sulaiman al Salam, who yeah. is uh, in his uh, own uh, palace uh, at that time with the j all the jinnat and all the the human beings on. <coughs> left and right side and there's a big problem going on between jinn and uh, humans at that time uh, in the time of Suleiman Islam because both were trying to actually uh, it was like a political thing going on between jinnah that you know we're way more um, we're better than the human beings and mm. Suleiman is a man so he actually sides with the, mm. the men mm. so Suleiman Islam gives everybody a test here so that the jinn could know that you know human beings are only limited if they do not have the knowledge of the book mm. And if they have the knowledge of the book, they're far superior than any in any and every power that jinns have. Mm. All the jinns can have all the powers, but any human being with this power of the book can uh, supersede and overpower any other thing. Mm. So he gives them the test. And Ifrit is the mightiest of all jinns at that time. Mm. Okay, And Sulaiman Islam says, whoever... Uh, who of you guys can bring me the throne of uh, Sabah? And that's the queen in Yemen at that time. Mm. And this is the, the, the this is Jerusalem we're talking about. Mm. This is going on in Jerusalem. Uh, or wherever that, that, that place made is, uh, the first temple. Uh, actually, the second temple. Yeah. So, uh, if he says, I am going to bring you that, uh, that, uh, that throne way before you can uh, or before you can uh, spend enough time to stand up from where you're sitting hmm. from hmm. You're, wherever you're sitting hmm. to the time it's going to take you to stand up hmm. and now look this is a contest going on of time do not be confused about this it is a contest going on about who can actually bring uh, travel through time faster yeah not just the fact that you can bring <clears throat> Yeah. Such an amazing power you're going to show. That's a constant thing. You guys can. Yeah. You guys can or have the power to bring weird things and bring mountains into from one place to another. The real contest is here about who can do it faster. This yeah. is what the Quran is saying. Yeah. Now, we shouldn't be, you know, mixing this up. Because as a normal human being, bringing the throne of Saba is such a big thing we forget the fact that that was not the, the rule of the game yeah. the rule of the game was yeah, yeah both of you can bring it yeah who can bring it quicker yeah the person the jinn says i can bring you away before you can stand up and the human says i can bring you that's too slow yeah. i'm going to bring it way before you can blink your eye yeah and he does he does bring that that throne back and Sulaiman al-islam Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala narrates that detail there here in the Quran as well. That how did you do that? And he, he says, because I have the knowledge of the scripture. I have the knowledge of the scripture, knowledge yeah. of the book. So this is the book we're actually holding right now. Yeah. Now we, we have to understand how, 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 how all of this comes into play and how, 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 how to place all of this into our psychology and raise our kids accordingly. So this is something which is so... Uh, beyond science and mm. beyond a natural psychology of a regular human being who's not told about this from day one mm. and explained it through so many angles. Mm. Otherwise, what is the commentary? Read read uh, this surah and see what the commentary has. There is absolutely no answer to how did that man bring about uh, that, uh, the throne of Sabah. <clears throat> We're not going to go into detail of what happened later on, but this is the point here. So, if there is a teleportation going on in the Quran, yeah. if there is a, uh, you know, a, a portal opening up in the Hadith, mm. if there is a thousand year of age and bringing every animal uh, uh, in a sing single arc inside a, the Quran, mm. uh, if there is uh, so much astronomy at the same time going on, then why are we not looking into Atba Asababa as one of those many things which is already in the Quran. And even if that's just my opinion, which is fresh right now, please reject it. Sahaba are actually using it. Mm. And so if Sahaba are using it, then whatever the, 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 
the median between us and Sahaba, the, all the commentary between us and the Sahaba is, we should be able to not just place it according to the intellect of the people at that time, because yeah. that was the point of the Quran for, for those people, because at that time science did not, they didn't even know what the, the concept is. Yeah. So Sahabas, they actually had to get the absolute knowledge because they were gaining it straight from the Prophet. Yeah. And the fact that we have testimonies from the Sahaba also signifies that this has to be preserved. We can't yeah. just, you know, take it as one-off account of Abdullah bin Abbas or Ali bin Abi Talib and just, you know, forget about it. That You know what, this is something that might be useful that, at that time and not here yeah. because of some sort of people talking about uh, this, these sort of things as imaginary or something. Some do Sabis don't, uh, Sabis are not like that. It's an absolute knowledge we're talking about here. Yeah. It's, it's not a temporary <clears throat> event that Sahaba is talking about this. We take Sahabis as, 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 as permanent beacons of knowledge. And they are going to remain like that, inshallah, till the day of Qiyamah. So, use this momentum and make sure we, we, we go into this next ayah. This is why this ayah is the most important. I told you before, this is where the, the, the whole concept comes to life. Because uh, all of a sudden, Yajuj and Majuj are coming in. And I keep getting this question of why are we talking about Yajuj and Majuj so much? Because Yajuj and Majuj are connected to Zulkarna and Zulkarna is connected to this technology. This technology is converted to uh, the Jal. Yeah. There's a simple trail. <clears throat> there is no no confusion here. And uh, uh, how is the Jal connected to Dulkarnan? Because Dulkarnan is in Surah Kaf. Yeah. <laughs> Surah Kaf is the, the key to open up every door. Yeah. Now, uh, the fact that Jews are also talking about it, the Yajuj and Majuj with the Messiah, that's not a coincidence. Yeah. There's, a, there's, there's, they're right, you know, uh, one after the other. They're, they're in the same year, uh, and you know, maybe in even the same month for all, we you know the way time is going to be, hmm. you know, passing at that time in the time of Isa's second coming, inshallah. So let's just go into uh, this so that we can, you know, talk about the Jal more about what was going on uh, in the in the in the in the in the verse until when he reached a pass. Now the word pass does not occur in the, this ayah. Yeah. Okay. So hatta ida balaga baina said then he comes right in the in the middle or or uh is passing through the middle hmm. of these two barriers these hmm. two portals these hmm. two doors of two different portals opening yeah. up or maybe two portals traveling par parallel and he's coming right in the middle hmm. could be anything because he doesn't really specify the structure hmm. here what hmm. mean doing him comma means the people yeah. who are uh, found by Dulkarnain. And then uh, the next time they say Kalu Yadul Karnain in the Yajuj of Majuj. Just a reminder for the viewers that this nation, like, no, we can't like restrict it to for this earth. It could be anywhere. Well, the, the case that we're presenting in this video yeah. series is the yeah. fact that this is not the planet Earth. Yeah. Uh, because, uh, you know, even if it is planet Earth, which I doubt in, in through my perspective, it is in a totally different dimension. Yeah. I, even if it is planet Earth, it is not in this dimension. So uh, uh, they could hardly hear, uh, uh, understand his uh, speech. La uh, yakaduna yafkahuna kaula means uh, they couldn't really get most of whatever uh, he was saying. Uh, and then they say, "Kalu yadul karnain ina yaju java maju jamu sidu na filard." I think we should go to the translation because yeah, so they pleaded, Ozul Karnain, surely Gog and Magog are spreading corruption throughout the land. Should we pay you tribute, provided that you build a wall between us and them? Wall. Here is Wabainahum Sadda. Yeah, that's the same word that uh, actually yeah. ends up Bainana uh, Wabainahum Sadda. Yeah. Uh, so Antajala Bainana Wabainahum Sadda means uh, yeah. so that you can build one. So yeah. it's it's not so if we translate here Sadda as mountains as in the previous ayah. In the previous ayah. It will be build a mountain for us yeah. between us and them. So we'll have to stick to one meaning here. Yeah. We can't just, you know, try and pick and choose that. They're the same word. And it's not like far away. It's like before this word in the right, you know, the last ayah. Hatta uh, balaga baina saddain. And then antaj ala baina na baina hum sadda means it's... It has to be carried forth. The same psychology has to yeah. be carried forth. Yeah. And uh, uh, he did build up a wall. 
he 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 did build up barrier so he did to close those those barriers yeah he became came right in the middle of these two doorways and he uh uh he shut down one of those doors yeah or maybe he put a singular uh wall between these two doors mm -hmm. uh this this could also be the case because yeah. it doesn't really specify the yeah. whole architect architecture of things so we can take all of these meanings yeah and but we cannot take the meaning of the, the the word mountain here because he didn't build a mountain. He actually asked for the metals coming up right right yeah, in the next time. So we don't build metals and you know or oh, copper and iron and uh, you know still and build a mountain. Yeah, build a mountain. We'll call it a mountain later on. Yeah. Okay. So uh, <clears throat> yeah, but the one thing that we always miss out here somehow is that they wanted to pay him. Hmm. You know. It's not something which is uh, customary for anyone to pay the king. Hmm? No, I think all the nations used to pay tribute to the kings. Yeah, well, no, well, not that the fact to build walls. Not yeah, you're talking about a, a, a salary here, a, a, you know, kharaja. Yeah. Um, that means, uh, you know, kharjan. Uh, kharaja. Kharjan means... Kharaj uh, in Urdu. Yeah, yeah, that means uh, if you do this... Uh, we're willing to compensate you for it, mm. you know. Uh, I I don't know. I'm just I just my my head always gets stuck at the fact that uh, you know why was this uh, mentioned here because it was not he didn't even take the money. So the fact that you know he said specifically a, a very uh, clear reply that whatever I have mm. is way better than what you can possibly offer. So I don't need anything from you guys. But what I do need from you is manpower and whatever the things you're gonna ask for right now. So the fact that uh, uh, you know uh, the same word comes into play when Hazrat Suleiman uh, says whenever he said when he saw the the thing happening of the, the throne of Sabah, he said this is from Allah's rahmah only. Mm. Al Khizr said the same thing, mm. and he as Al Karnain is saying the same thing. Mm. In the next ayah. In the next ayah, ayah number ninety-five, he responded, "What my Lord has provided for me is far better. But assist me with resources, and I will build a barrier between you and them." Now here we go. That now that's the point I'm going to try and make. In the I had 83 or 84, when we are saying Bikuli Shain Sababa, that does not mean he has power of everything. Yeah. Otherwise, he, he would, would have been like this, and every iron and copper would have just you know, yeah, uh, merged up together, and you know he would have made a yeah. wall. He would he be asking them for resources. Yeah, and even if he were asking for resources, he wouldn't have asked for whatever they were going to do with the resources as well. So he does not have that kind of power, which we actually start to assume. He's literally doing it under a regular, you know, uh, settings of how people come about and do their labor. And, uh, you know, uh, your, your regular social and physics uh, is uh, so, uh, laws yeah. of physics are applied here. Yeah. Yeah, go on. Okay. I number 96. Uh, I know before we go to 96. Mm -hmm. Now, this word sadda is now yeah. uh, Radma here. Yeah. The word Sadda would, 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 was something that they wanted to, uh, they were saying. And uh, here, yeah. uh, Zul Karnani is actually replacing the word Sadda with uh, yeah. Radma. Yeah. And they wanted to build a Sadda yeah. for him to build a Sadda. Yeah. And he said, I'm going to build a Radma. Radma. Yeah. Now that's a totally different. See, this is what Zul Karnani is saying. Yeah. And he he does build a radma. Yeah. So he doesn't build a sadda. Yeah. So it's a, it's a, it's, let's just go back. Tajal, tajala bainana wa bainahum sadda. So you can bring about, jala is a totally different word here. Okay. Yeah. And uh, he said, well, I am not going to do that. I am going to build you a, hmm. a dam, hmm. Hmm. which is going to stop this mm. uh, rather than uh, uh, the kind of techno well I'm, I'm giving you perspective here whatever you're seeing right now as the doorway opening up you see all of that 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 thing mm. which could be anything could be mm. could be just mist or mm. could be just thin air could mm. be anything mm. instead of me using that technology I'm gonna use something else and so bring me iron and copper I'm gonna build a totally different technology. I'm going to yeah. use a totally different technology here. Yeah. You know, whatever you're used to, yeah. 
It's not something I'm going to do. I'm going to do something which I'm used to. So this is how we close the store. Mm. Or maybe he's a superior power. He uses a totally different technology. Mm. Mm. Uh, so, so he actually asked for uh, iron and uh, yeah. copper. By the way, you use the word dam. That's uh, the translation by Sahih International. But all the others, Dr. Ghali, Mustafa Khattab, Abdul Halim, they have used it as a fortification or a barrier or a wall. Yeah, the word well, the Radma. dam is a wall. So yeah. a dam itself is a wall. Hmm. So it, it's not much of a contradiction here. Hmm. Uh, even though uh, a barrier is way more suiting uh, yeah. to, to the, you yeah. know, because it's not an actual... Uh, yeah, because we do get an idea of the dam, you know. So yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah that would just spin people off from uh, whatever was going on, yeah. actually. So, iron number 96. Uh, bring me blocks of iron. Then when he had filled up the gap, okay, the gap between the two mountains, he ordered blow. When the iron became red hot, he said, bring me molten copper and pour over it. I guess this is a very interesting. Yeah, there's so much in this. I I, 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 don't, I don't know where to begin. First and foremost, iron copper. We know what what, what you know. When Just give you... me a second. Sure. I want to read the Arabic of this so that you can stress on each word. Then. In the ayah number ninety-six, it says, "Atuni zubar al-hadid, hatta ida sawa bayn al-sadafaini, qalan fuku, hatta ida jalahu naran." Okay. So we have Zubar al Hadid. Sadafain. Sadafain. Sawa. Yeah. Sawa is the, the keyword here. And Baina Sadafain. Bain also. Yeah, well, Sawa is yeah. the gap. So mm. Sawa, Baina Sadafain. Mm. Uh, uh, and then uh, we have uh, Kitran. So yeah. let's just uh, read another English translation. Okay, um, Abdul Halim says, bring me lumps of iron. And then when he had filled the gap between the two mountain sides, he said, work your bellows. And then when he had made it glow like fire, he said, bring me molten metal to pour over it. One more, one more. This is so, so important. We really need to. Uh, okay, Dr. Ghali says, bring me ingots of iron. Until when he had leveled up between the two cliffs, he said, blow. Until when he made it a fire, he said, bring me that I may pour out molten brass on it. Okay. So, yeah. So, let's just see. Uh, iron. Uh, that means, uh, well, I'm not going to push a perspective of being close to the star because stars actually produce iron. iron yeah. Uh, so, let's just say even if they weren't planets. They still would have iron. But so. these guys had plenty of iron. Oh, yeah, so much. Plus, they had the technology of actually, at that time, Digging they could out, bellow, out, yeah. you know, all of that uh, melting of iron as yeah. well. So, it's definitely after the, the Stone Age and Bronze Age. Yeah. Uh, or sorry, the, the Stone Age. Yeah. So, we're talking about <clears throat> the Iron Age here. Yeah. So, we're talking about uh, Zulkarnain actually uh, filling up a gap. Um, Sawa baina sadafain. Now this word. Uh, if we go, let's just go back to uh, ayah number uh, uh, ninety-three. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, no, we 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 before that. Let me just. Uh, he when he became this is ninety-three. We're going to let me just. I just don't want to miss out on anything. Because the same word actually appears so distinctly that we just don't want to. Which one? Uh, the, the gap. Hmm. Okay, it's, it's okay. We can use it here, so don't worry. <coughs> it's okay. So, uh, so the question is. Uh, uh, I'm going at Ayah 93 again. Hatta is a balaga baina sadain. Okay. Now, he has traveled across the sadain now. Hmm. That's when he has hmm. he's, he's found the, the people. Duni hmm. hima. Okay. Hmm. Uh, and then uh, beyond those, uh, hmm. those pathways, or what they're saying is mountains, hmm. uh, 
he is going to try and build up a radma okay and now he's asked them to bring uh, iron and he's going to fill up a gap between the two mountains hmm. okay hmm. now let's just because i know it's um, the case is that there are mountains so what are they and uh, what is iron got to do with this hmm. let's just say that they are portals do i does a portal is get shut down by an um, iron wall well could be but most probably not yeah you know so what was going on there and how can we actually you know if there is a portal why can't you just go through the iron wall because the portal can actually open anywhere right yeah if sale's camel can come out from a stone yeah. then yajuj majuj could just come out from this iron wall yeah you know so the wall wouldn't really open up cuz we're talking about a portal here when a portal opens it opens in air or in the ground doesn't matter mm. in mm. water mm. so that portal so we had an understanding that just like we have roads and pathways here on earth that's exactly how we have portals which are fixed it just doesn't open anywhere well that's they one of them they are there yeah yeah that's that they're there but mm. when they open mm. they o- they can open anywhere right yeah i mean when wherever they are yeah. they're there they can open anytime yeah yeah plus they 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 don't really you know uh they you well but Plus the we point i'm trying to make well is they are, yeah. yeah well the portal could be in a mountain right yeah when a portal exactly. opens in a mountain the yeah. mountains are sto- stopping it the mountain actually is opening it yeah so yeah. if the portal is uh, is a portal between us it's supposed yeah. to happen yeah. no matter what we put there that yeah. portal is going to open that 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 piece of matter yeah, yeah. right so the iron wall might not be the mm-hmm. best solution to mm-hmm. close a portal mm mm-hmm. that's yeah. what my case is mm-hmm. okay. what my i'm trying to say is that yes since he know what the portal is he is going to do something else mm-hmm. and that's why he said don't know i don't want my your money let me just build up something mm-hmm. which is going to go through the gap mm-hmm. and uh, it's going to fill it up and, and he he said that i'm going to build a radma yeah so yeah he said, he said a, no not not what you saying yeah, yeah. not yeah. a sadda i'm going to build a radma i'm going to you know block it mm-hmm. i'm going to build a block that's mm-hmm. the best word for mm-hmm. it mm-hmm. i'm going to block this this hole here mm-hmm. No this hole has to be blocked through So what were they asking if, if he said that I'm going to block it what were they as- asking that uh, radda They were asking they were said that said that what's the difference between these two That's the, what we're tr- explaining actually Well the setting is that when Zulkarnain comes through those pathways they are asking for another si- sort of this sort of pathway to block or close them and zulkarnain is saying that this is not going to stop them opening up another door or closing it the way you want it to close this is not going to stop them because this portal when they open it it opens to anything if, even if it is water or you know or 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 a mountain or or whatever or air they're going to open it up so i'm not going to do that i'm going to put a permanent block there hmm. cuz you know which if if i if, you know if zulkarnain was here we would be like you know once you build a wall and you're like this wall is not enough of a stop for anything that you're actually uh, for the thing that you're actually uh, telling me to stop whatever those those yeah. those problems are for if if if, if you are using majuj here mm. he's going to be using a totally different technology to stop and he is that in your opinion whatever you see is what your psychology is mm. so that's why you're saying that you know uh, you see this sort of a door you want to close it like yeah. this yeah. and he said no it's not going to work i'm going to put a permanent block here and that's a radma i'm going to block it and that's why the commentary is about barrier yeah that i'm going to make sure that i block it uh let me just use whatever i know which allah has given me as knowledge so bring me iron and copper i'll show you how it's blocked hmm. this is what he's doing hmm. yeah and uh now that we know a little bit of science uh of what happens when you layer ferrous over uh copper and then ferrous over copper Hmm. you actually are creating a magnet hmm. and if you put enough heat energy or whatever energy that that was used because they were blowing a uh, fire on it we can deduce that it was some sort of a magnetic field field that he actually created hmm. to close the doorway hmm. or block it hmm. or maybe just hide it hmm. Hmm. or could be anything hmm. otherwise the let's just look at the flip side let's just assume all of this is wrong what we're saying hmm. and it's a classical meaning two mountains 
and he looked at the big gap. Okay, this is the two mountains. Let me just a big build an iron wall yeah. so that they won't be able to cross it. But if there are mountains, that's the first thing they will be able to cross because a mountain is something you can climb. Yeah. Let's just say that was like a, a steep mountain nobody can climb. Mm. Let's just say, even though he doesn't say that. Mm. So he builds up a wall mm. with actually around uh, between the two mountains that nobody can climb. Mm. So if that kind of setting is on this planet, mm. the kind of number that we have of uh, Yajuj and Majuj, that wall, they don't need to cross. They can just, you know, swarm around from, from other parts. Yeah. Not just to kill these people. It's all right. These mm. people might not be killed because the mountains are too far and too wide. Mm. It'll be too much of an effort or too mm. too small of a gain. Mm. But they will be dispersed all over the planet. Yeah. This is the least of, uh, you know. Yeah, because the wall is not built around the whole planet. The whole, they even if it is built the whole planet, yeah. half of the planet is still gone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Should be inaccessible to you and us. Yeah. yeah. So if we had <laughs> built a, a, a dome, Mm. That yeah, I can understand that. Mm. That there's in some dome somewhere underground. Mm. Mm. But it doesn't say anything like that here. Yeah. It just says that they're doorways mm. and he just blocks those doorways. Yeah. So let's just keep it as as, as simple as it is, because mm. any human being would be thinking, okay, okay, let's just say he built a wall. Mm. Where is the wall? Yeah. Okay, let's just say no, the wall was broken down. Uh, you know. So where what happened to Yajud Majuj? Because yeah. Yajud Majuj are through the hadith told yeah. to Isa alayhi salam. Yeah. After he kills the Jal. Yeah. That now we've opened up. Open is the word. Yeah. Our people hmm. that nobody can kill. So take your uh, people to a uh, tour. Hmm. To a tour hmm. and hide there. Hmm. This is the direct hadith about uh, the uh, Yajuj and Majuj. Yeah. Which is sahih. Yeah. Which is, there is no doubt about this. Yeah. And it makes perfect sense. Yeah. Because the Quran says we're going to be sending Yadud Majuj from higher places. Higher places, yeah. This is the Quran we're saying. This is the, yeah. the first time, the second time we use in uh, Surah Ambiya. Ambiya. Yeah. Ambiya. So, higher places would also mean literally those places which the Quran keeps on saying, you know, the Surah Naba, when the yeah. doors of the, the skies, skies are going to open. open. Yeah. And the uh, <clears throat> doors of the skies... Would, yeah. would naturally mean higher places. Yeah. And even if that's not the doors, these are other doors which Sulkanan yeah. is using. Yeah. Okay, so uh, when Yajuj and Majuj are going to open all portals in the air, they're naturally going to be coming from higher places. Yeah. Because it's that's how we look at uh, the yeah. whole the whole you know, atmosphere yeah. and the sky and the the, 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 uh, the whole heavens. So it's uh, either that or they'll be coming from underneath us and that's not what the Quran is saying. The portal can be opened from, from underneath. Yeah. But yeah. these are the portals from interplanetary, right? Yeah. So interplanetary movement. For example, uh, if we uh, look at uh, where the moon is from the earth, moon is in the right, in the, in the, right, uh, uh, in the same pan as, as, as planet earth. Hmm. But we look at the moon from high, like as if it's in a higher place. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Sun and the earth are not on top of each other. Yeah. But it seems to us because we are aligned yeah. vertically on the planet. Yeah. Since we are aligned vertically, we see everything up there. And yeah. that's Hadebayan Saloon, which means yeah. higher places. Yeah. And that makes a perfect sense in this in this whole context as to uh you know what what how are they going to be coming in. But when are they coming in? Are they coming in at the time of Isa alayhi salam. If mm-hmm. they're coming in at the time of Isa alayhi salam, then where are they right now? Mm. They better be on this planet. Because they'll be breeding till till Isa Islam comes in. And if we cannot see them right now, that will only mean that we have not discovered this planet. Yeah. So much so that we have not discovered most of this planet because these people are 999 to 1. Yeah. Okay. By the by at least. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so these people either have come in. Mm. And a lot of scholars say that, yeah, yeah, they came in way, way before you can talk about that. Okay, yes, this, but why, why are we talking about Isa al-Islam and Yajuj Majuj? Yeah. Why is Isa al-Islam going to, to kill them? And why did, Allah is uh, saying that we've opened up Yajuj and Majuj. Yeah. So there cannot be the Chinese or the Caucasians. Yeah. You know, there can, can, cannot be because Allah is going to tell them that now we've opened up. It's a far-fetched idea that at that time, 
America or Europe is going to fight against Isa al Islam, and Allah is going to say, Now I've opened up NATO. Yeah. So go to Kotur. Hmm. How come NATO forces hmm. won't be able to go up to Kotur? Yeah. You know, this is uh, another. You, you know, we're just, you know, putting uh, our own selves in a lot of knots here, but just. Yeah. By just not uh, simplifying things through the course of events, which uh, this surah is uh, clearly saying. So uh, this this makes a lot more sense uh, in 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 this context, and uh, uh, that's why I'm so uh, I'm, try- I'm trying to go in so much detail. So the next word is uh, sadafain. Sadafain is a in ayah number ninety six. We are back in this. Hatta ida sawa bayna sadafain, which means shell, hmm. and sadaf. That, sadaf means shell. The two shells. That also makes sense because hmm. when we look at that shell, that sadaf means it's a spiral hmm. with two openings. Hmm. Which okay, that's exactly what uh, what was uh, going on. Yeah. So if he had a uh, a door like structure with the spiral movement, it hmm. would look like sadafain. And yeah. that's okay. And that's what we're actually talking about. Mm. But if 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 we don't treat it treat it like a wormhole or a portal or whatever, mm. then why is this a new word coming in this ayah? Yeah. yeah. Why is Allah Subhanahu wa Taala not talking about jabal? Yeah. Or you know, or or anything of that like. Uh, or sadain. Or sadain. Yeah, yeah sadain. So all of a sudden. This becomes that that part of the the uh, the the the, the, uh, the, the passage hmm. that actually is swirling around hmm. and is opening up uh, into this 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 place where they're 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 they're, they're, they're standing. Yeah. So he creates a certain charge hmm. or a certain. Um, you have to mechanical. actually explain more about Sadaf and Sadafine here. Let me, yeah, let me just, because uh, let me, we'll just try and put a picture of that shell in yeah. this video on the screen <clears throat> that you can actually see that this is what the, the seashell, uh, not the seashell, but uh, there's a certain word for it in English. I am, it's on the tip of my tongue right now. Snail? No, no, no. Shell yeah, well, okay, yeah, well, snail also has that sort of a, yeah. a, 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 a shell. Yeah. Uh, I, ironically, the same set of ex- exists inside the human ear. Ear, yeah. The very shape and the very form of that uh, sadaf uh, is one in one ear. Mm. So two would mean sadafain. Yeah. Okay. So if you look at that structure, you'll find out that asabika for actually, you know, using that uh, same. Darabna uh, adanihim. Darabna ala adanihim means that sound. Certain struck. certain sort of sound was struck on the ear. Yeah. So if if we use that that uh, I'm not trying to connect Sabekaf here. What I'm saying is, uh, if you look at it, you'll be amazed that they, this it's a little too much of a of yeah. a thing. It's too overwhelming. This yeah. coincidence is too overwhelming. I'm not going to call it coincidence. So when you look at that sort of a a a, a shell, then you'll find out that this is a two tapering ends which are mm. openings mm. with a, a swirl a big swirl in the middle which you know which looks like that that's that uh, shell that you know that the, the indians horn. use for the for the horn yeah, yeah exactly like a horn shaped thing so uh, that's the generally the shape of a portal or a wormhole yeah that's hole. exactly yeah. how physics actually defines a wormhole yeah. or a portal because yeah. if you look at a even though they're the same size of the doorways, hmm. but since they're farther from the, it's called the linear parallax. Uh, if you look at any, like uh, if you stand on the train track, yeah, you're going to think that the edges of the train track are wider right. here and they Narrow. start shrinking yeah. uh, together uh, uh, the farther you see. Just like that, if you see a portal in the sky, hmm. you'll see that the bigger door is swirling into a smaller door. Yeah. Uh, and that's what uh, makes it look like a horn. Yeah. And uh, this is what Sadaf actually looks like. Yeah. When you look at those uh, Indian uh, civilization, uh, still they still use it. Yeah. And they they pick up a horn, even though it's not a horn. Mm. Uh, it's a shell. Yeah. Which actually makes that sound of announcement mm. and everything. Mm. Mm. And that's also in the same perfect spiral of the Fibonacci series, which is yeah. uh, such a which is called the signature of God. Yeah. That you know, this is how 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 everything is in a perfect uh, proportion. And also, also 
Now we found out that the Earth and all the planets are swirling around the Sun yeah. in the Fibonacci motion, yeah. and they're actually traveling. It's yeah. not a, a linear, yeah. uh, you know, uh, a, a motion of the planets uh, in 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 the x-axis. Yeah. They're actually moving up or wherever they're headed, yeah. uh, and that's the exact spiral that yeah. that everything is making. Yeah. So the whole solar system looks like a big portal when yeah. you look at it from that angle. Yeah. However, the the, the word Sadaf actually holds this this big of a meaning. So Baina uh, Sadafain would also mean, and I, I I was reading this uh, these two Arabian um, uh, students who made this documentary on how a portal would actually mean. They used the word Sadaf as well, and they said the Sadaf would convert into Sadafain because the two edges yeah. would actually mean the Sadafain. Yeah. A single edge would mean a, a single sadaf. door was, was sadaf, mm -hmm. which of course, uh, actually I think they were Armenian, or, uh, uh, they, were, they were speaking Arabic. So what I'm saying is, it could be a singular path opening at the Zulkanan end mm -hmm. and the other path opening at the uh, Yajud Majuj end. Yeah. Okay. And that would mean Sadafain. Yeah. And, and he right would between them, he meets these people. Yes, exactly. Okay. Or beyond, beyond it and you know that, and he comes from one end goes to the ends of Yadud Majuj, fix, blocks it there, mm. and then comes in here, and then blocks it here as well. Yeah. That could easily be done. Mm. And mm. that mm. explains, uh, uh, you know, how he's uh, using uh, copper over iron or iron over mm. uh, copper over iron. Uh, again, mm. I'm going to keep it simple. I'm not going to mm. use it as two different ends of a tunnel. Mm. I'm going to think that he actually blocked that portion which uh, was opening in uh, the part of the, the mm. planet where these people are, mm. even though that is connected to the to mm. the trajectory of uh, Zulkanan coming to uh, mm. going there. Mm. Obviously, if Zulkanan blocks the pathway of every portal, mm. then Zulkanan is not going to come back. Mm. He, 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 you have to <laughs> yeah. understand that. So he's in the middle of these this, these two pathways. One is from wherever he's coming in, hmm. and one is where the Zulkarnain comes in from. Oh, sorry, Yajud Majuj, hmm. and he blocks that entry, hmm. and he comes back. Yeah, you know. Yeah. So it's it's a simpler way of looking at it, and so that you can understand how this this <coughs> this whole ayah comes to life, uh, brings hmm. to life such a big, uh, uh, you know, perspective of, and picture of what was going on there. Yeah. So uh, uh, again, Radma is the block. Sadda is what they actually were used to. Saddain is something which is the two paths opening mm. in. And uh, uh, let me, should I just draw that here? Zulkanan comes into this planet mm. from this gap, mm. that's one. Mm. And he looks at that planet, mm. people, and then there's another path from that planet going somewhere mm. else. Mm. And they say that, you know, Yadud Majuj come in and he says, okay, let me just block this one. Yeah. Let me just block this one because now there's a Saddain yeah, here. Yeah. But I'm gonna, not going to use, you know, this door. I'm going to use something else. Just give me molten iron and oh, iron, and then he melts it out, mm. puts a, a copper on it, does whatever he can, yeah. and then he uses his own pathway to come to back. Exit. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So that's that's the actual simple way of uh, using the word Saddafain. And um, uh, then we go to the next. Is there something I'm, I'm missing out here? Uh, no, okay. no, we covered it, alhamdulillah. The Naya number 97, it says, uh, and so the enemies could neither scale nor tunnel through it. Here you go. So scale or tunnel means uh, going up or uh, under it. Yeah. Uh, so uh, scale means over, yeah. and tunnel through. So that means it's, it's not just a wall. It is a kind of block that, yeah. uh, you know, because if it's not in space, yeah. they can tunnel under it. Why can't they tunnel under it? Yeah. There's nowhere in the ayah it says because if there's a gap in the mountain, why can't they tunnel under it? Yeah, you know, because he just filled up the gap in the mountain yeah. according to the, the classic translation. Yeah. So if it is a hanging up portal and you just block it, mm. no, you cannot because you know it's a tunnel. Every yeah. portal is a tunnel. Yeah. You can't dig under it because if you go under it, you know you're you're in your own dimension. Yeah, the only way to come into my dimension is through that that opening. Yeah. You know, so this yeah. is why they can't just dig over or under it. Yeah. Because that's a sealed tunnel. Yeah. It's, it's not in our hands because the way a, a black hole or a wormhole or whatever, because black hole 
could be a portal for all I we, we know. Mm. We can't just go over the edges of the kind of uh, you know uh, path that we've actually created or was created or, or is already there, because that path exists in a totally different uh, dimension. Yeah, the opening yeah. is the only entry into the next dimension where your yeah. your your prey is if you want to eat something. Yeah, because yeah. if you if you don't uh, go through that very layer of the 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 the, the door. Mm. You're still going to be in in your own dimension. Own dimension yeah. So that's why they can't. So we go. have to keep in mind if it was a wall that too on this earth. We know that Yajuj and Majuj they are civilized enough. They have like weapons and everything which they're gonna be using when they come on earth. Yeah, they'll know? be shooting arrows in the air. Yeah. So if they have this much technology, so they can easily dig under the wall or climb over it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So Ayah number ninety-eight. Uh, Zul Karnain said. This is a mercy from my Lord, but when the promise of my Lord comes to pass, He will level it to the ground, and my Lord's promise is ever true. Before we go there, uh, the the last ayah, the word was uh, I'm sorry, I missed out. Uh, yazharu. Yeah. Neither can they pierce it. Yeah. Well. Uh, no, yeah. Yazharu. Yeah. yeah it, this also uh, means to, to look at. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So you have to understand this is a. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's also. Zahir. Yes, yeah. Zahir, right? Yeah, Zahir. This word could actually clearly also mean that they can't even see this wall, hmm. uh, and nor can they hit it. Hit it. Hmm. Nakba also means uh, you to strike it. Hmm, hmm. Okay. The they can't even see it, nor they can strike it. But again, hmm. since I'm not going to hmm. try and you know stretch my kind of meaning, because I'm. Uh, Dr. Ghali says able to surmount it because we, when we say yadhar, yadhar hu, hu means it's, it's gonna uh, dominate, come over. Yeah. yeah, oh yeah, I understand. I'm just saying this root word has yeah. uh, a, a very clear meaning that they can't see it nor are they be able to hmm. uh, pass over it, cross over it, or even bore it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Again, the same word, Kala Hada Rahmatum in Rabbi. Yeah. Same word as Suleiman is used, as Khizr is used. Yeah. And uh, Zulkarnain also uses the same word. Yeah. Ayah number 99 uh, On that day, we shall let them surge against each other like waves, and then the trumpet will be blown, and we shall gather them all together. Yeah, before we go there, uh, what, you're, you're 98, right? Yeah, 99. Okay, before, uh, this is a uh, uh, teacher of mine who used to say that uh, this is the Kalama to uh, open up, uh, you know, uh, different doorways uh, because every time a doorway is open, this is the same uh, ayah. So if you recite this ayah at the time of uh, Jajal, you'll be opening up uh, doorways. Wow, well, which one? Hada Rahmatumir Rabbi. Yeah, Hada Rahmatumir Rabbi. This ayah is placed so well in, <clears throat> in those very, very occasions when this sort of supernatural event is happening. Especially teleportation and por uh, in teleporting and uh, inter you know opening the portals. So yeah, so and we will be uh, we will leave them that day surging over each other. Uh, you're at ninety nine, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, what your your translation says? It's uh, Doctor Mustafa Khattab says on that day we will let them surge like waves over one another. Later the trumpet will be blown and we will gather all people together. Yeah, well, that's uh, that's the day of judgment. Hmm. Uh, oh, however, first, the first uh, part, part is about yeah. Yajuj and Majuj. Yeah, and uh, they will be swarming over each other. Uh, that that would mean that they're in millions. Yeah, and they will be swarming over each other and uh, you know surging over each other. Yeah. Uh, and uh, uh, you know what else can we possibly say about this except the fact that you know the way this is described. Is uh, is is the way we should we should imagine them and see them yeah. that uh, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala has left them for the kill and this is also um, uh, a very clear way of us knowing that this is not an event from this planet uh, because you know look at the choice of words uh, and if we look at and a portal opening on this planet and a whole creature being coming in yeah. with the whole army which was which has been breeding for thousands and thousands of years then yes 
that is the kind of uh, ayah that actually fits the meaning of that. And there's a hadith also like uh, wasps. Wasps. Yeah. Yeah. This talks about you know they're swarming like wasps are swarming. You know, wow. it's uh, it's it's I don't know why we can't just uh, you know um, use it as as regularly as possible as to how see the wasp. I mean they're not ants. Yeah. They're not termites. Yeah. Wasps. I mean, they'll be coming from the air. Yeah. This uh, this is actually, you know, giving yeah. us that, that sort of... fly, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Of course, wasps attack you from the air. Uh, stampede is a regular thing, you know, with uh, animals running and anything. Ground, yeah. But the Hadith says, wow. you know, they'll be swarming <coughs> like wasps. Yeah. So, wow. they're, uh, you know, with the kind of ears that, you know, they would be looking like wasps. And people would be thinking that they're, they're, they're flying because of the kind of ears that they have and they're just coming in from the air. But uh, you know, it it to my mind, it it's such a perfect picture of this how the Quran is actually using Zulkarnain to describe all of this.